Hello and welcome uh, back to the channel. This is going to be an Ionic video we have this week. And this is going to be a video around testing, specifically end-to-end -end testing in um, an Ionic framework. So here's how I got to where we are. So I had this application. I need to do some testing. So I went to this. This is the Ionic example that uh, they did a whole blog post about um, using WebDriver IO and Appium to test. The problem for me was that, first of all, this is all written completely in Angular. So I'm trying to test a React application with Ionic. And the other thing is it's using Cordova. So as they state here, notes this example app uses Cordova and bases on, based on the older Ionic conference app, but we strongly recommend teams use Capacitor. So I had this start with the process of taking all the good stuff from this project, which there is a lot of really good stuff in here, specifically um, the helpers around accessing Ionic components on pages. Um, so I took a lot of that stuff out and then I had to write a React application. And then uh, the other thing is we had to dig into Appium, which is automation for mobile applications. So what you'll see in my demo I'm gonna run is the automated test script, just testing a couple of simple things inside this Ionic application running on an emulator. And then the other thing was getting started with WebDriver IO, which is really what kind of drives the whole thing um, and how it has these, um, not really the concepts, but uh, just how you configure and set up the project, how you, uh, you, how you leverage the API to kind of um, access elements on the pages and then just building out simple tests. So, um, I have a sample project that I have checked in, uh, which is posted on GitHub. I'll include the link below. Um, with this project, you have, this is the, this is the, I think it's the list app that just gives you a basic list. And when you click on the list, you get the detailed information of the list. Um, there's more stuff I can do, but like I said, I just wanted to wrap my head around it and have a, a basic framework to start off with. And I'll add more to this if uh, you folks leave a bunch of comments below and you really like this. Um, now, before I kind of get into this any further, please make sure you like, subscribe, share this with anyone who's trying to figure out how to get Ionic end-to-end -to -end -to -end test working with React, WebDriver, IO, and Appium. And I think I've spoke enough now. So let me just kind of first start off by just running the demo. So let me shrink my head, Boop. go down here to a corner and we'll bring up the app. And so just, I'm not gonna go line by line through this because I have the sample. Um, I'm releasing all the source codes you guys can go through and figure it out. If you have a bunch of questions, like I said, I'll do another video on it. Um, but what we have here in, where is my source? Tests. So what we have here in my test is I have a, here's my specs. So I have my home spec, which, what does this do? It launches the home page, which is just the home page. And then it confirms that there's eight elements on the page right here. Then it confirms that the title is on the page correctly. So that's the second test. And then the third test, I actually do some more. So it takes you to the home page, confirm that there's eight elements here. Click on the first element, that's this click message zero. Pause to give it some time to get there. I found that you have to play with the pause a little bit to make sure that everything's loaded in time. Then I get the URL of the page to make sure that I'm on the right page, which is a detailed page containing message zero. Then I confirm, I get the title and confirm that the title, so this is message zero when I click on it. You can see the title is this, so I confirm that the title matches. And then I also confirm that the start with matches. And so that is all the test does. That's all this test does. And then I wrote another test just to show that I can write two tests. And what this does is it, let's see, should show title page. So I start it on the page with this message. And then I confirm that once again, I have the specific title and I have the specific, uh, specific sender. And then I also show that I can click the back button and then confirm when I click the back button that I'm back on the home page. So these are my two tests. Um, and so let me just run it. So to run it, I needed to make some changes to package JSON. 
I have the develop, which runs, runs it in the web browser. I have run Android and I have run iOS. So a couple of quirks, which I documented in the readme, is that you'll see inside of these configuration files, you specify the emulator that you're running, and then you have to tell them where the app is that you want to test. So with uh, Ionic and Capacitor, when you run it, it always puts the, the Android application at the same place. So that was easy. But for iOS, from what I have found, and if someone out there knows differently, um, the iOS application gets deployed directly on the em in the emulator. And so you can see this long path, which is hard-coded, goes directly to a specific device ID, and then it puts in build products, and it dumps it there. I haven't figured out a way, I haven't figured out a way to find exactly where this is so that um, it doesn't need to be changed for each project. And if you know a way, if there's something I'm doing incorrectly, I think that I think this ID and this whole derived data is what throws everything off. It'd be nice if this app was kind of just dropped inside a project directory here inside of the Ionic project. I think that would be cool. I, you probably can modify the script to do it. I don't know how to do it. But that's something you need to look for is to make sure that you've put the correct app and the app lo location inside this configuration file because um, that's kind of what drives things. What's going on in these other files, um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on because the Appium documentation and the WebDriver.io documentation kind of explains all this stuff way better than I can. Um, but like I said, I'm just giving this to you as a baseline to start your project. Um, as I learn more about all of this stuff, uh, maybe I will um, continue. Excuse me. Maybe I will, I'll, I'll make another video about all this. But um, let's let's run this right now and see what we get. So let's run the iOS one because I just recently ran it and I know that's going to work. Let me get back to it. So it just runs it here. You can see it's starting up. It's, you can see the screen's kind of moving now. It's running that first spec, it's taken to the next page, it's testing all this stuff, and you can see it passed. Now it ran the second one where it took us to this page, and now it clicked, and you can see they both passed. So that's it running on iOS. Let's see if I can get this guy running on Android. This might be a little bit different because it's going to... Sometimes I have to start the Android emulator myself, but let's see if this can kind of kick it off properly itself. I'm going to close the, my iOS emulator. see what happens here Let's see is it trying to start this? Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to start my Android studio it will basically get that emulator running it should start up oh. what is this why is it running That is not correct. Let me see what's going on in my logs. All right, so I'm back. I had to clean up my uh, Android configuration a bit, but I got it going. I have my emulator up and running. Here's the app. And so let's, let's run my test. So let it rip.
and my two tests passed successfully. Um, clearly, I'm going to dig in a little bit more and uh, try to create a much more complex example, and I'm certain that I'll find more examples that I want to post and share in videos as because the app clearly the application I'm building is much more complex so I'm going to have to do a bunch more things to kind of test it and so I'll share all that in um, this sample project uh, you know if there's anything specific that you want to see around this testing please make sure you leave a comment below and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it also there'll be a blog post kind of laying out a bunch of what I said also to kind of support this so make sure you check that out too thanks bye now